Hi guys, this is Saul from Salt and Pepper in Second Life. Welcome to a new tutorial and um, this time I'm going to try to cover a few things you guys requested. So actually this will be two tutorials in a row. The first one is going to be how to resize pants from starting from the Matreya body size and switching them over and resizing to the Slink Hourglass. And in the second one, I will show you how to rig them. Now, one thing up front, here is um, an outfit I have made for the past arcade in March, uh, the dandy suit that is made here for the Matreya because I usually start on the Matreya body. And usually, I don't even remember why I didn't do it here, but I would suggest that if you um, design pants that you start with a rotation of the hip bone of 8 up to 10 degrees well, that should be minus 10 here and that you will start meshing the legs in um, in this angle it's going to be much easier to rig now these pants are still they still have a little gap in the middle so I assume that's why I left them at the regular zero rotation but if you have a little bit more baggier pants than this then it's easier to start um, with an angle so this is the ready-made outfit and we're just gonna select the pants I'm going to copy them and then go into, I don't need to save this one, going to open the HG body. Now this is already one that I had finished before because I resized it for all sizes so I'm just going to close the ones I made. I'm going to import now what you can see here also that it imports the skeleton for some, oh, I didn't clear history before, this is why. So I'm going to clear history because I imported the rigged model which I actually didn't need. So I'm just going to delete the skeleton. And the Matreya, at least in my kit, it was in a 90 degree angle and I didn't, um, a rotation at angle and I didn't switch that back. So I just left it, this is why. It looks different here. So for the hourglass we will need to scale the pans down because the Matreya kit was in different um, scale and I will select the pans and first I'm going to um, reset transformation so they actually will reset and when I scale them down they will end up on the body and it's somewhere in the air so it's going to be easier to place them. And then we just zoom in and hit F and we will rotate them by 90 degrees. So this is how the Matreya pants would look on the hourglass. Obviously it's not fitting and what we're going to do now is going to resize them. Pants are a little bit tricky especially in the thigh area because the thighs overlap a little bit here. The hourglass basically they, it's really just a little little part that is overlapping but while we rig this can cause a few issues or just makes it more difficult to get it clean. This is why here it would have been nice if we would have the 10 degree angle because then it would have been easier to rig. But you will run into this issue so I'm going to show you how to solve this. First we're going to resize. What I use is mainly the lattice tool. So we go to deform and um, select lattice. Mine is set by default to 555 divisions. Um, for the pants, I'm going to change this to 7, 7, uh, maybe 15 for now. Um, 
we will jump back and forth in different um, lattice division arrangements. So we're going to select the lattice point. And now it's helpful. I have the soft selection on here that we don't need. But I would like to have the symmetry on. So we actually, when we will pull on one side, we'll do that symmetrically on the other. If your mesh is a non-symmetrical item, obviously you would not want that and you would pull it on either side to get the effect you want. But here we want it to be symmetrical. So I would start with this side points first. It will select through the body this way and just pull a little bit and I already see the top is coming close to what I want. I'm going to deselect this part. I'm just going to pull a little bit more here. Deselect here and a little bit more here. So we get into the shape. It's not perfect yet, but we're going to get there. Now for the front, we need a little bit more width in the thigh here. I'm going to pull this Although the knee is not poking through, I'm going to pull this out a little bit more just to have it even. This looks already pretty good. And then for the back, I used to grab the last three ones and just pull a little bit. First the three, then only two, just to stretch more evenly otherwise if you stretch only with the back part I mean you get it you will get it all to all the way to the back too but your texture um, will be completely messed up and distorted so try to work here as even as possible to get um, a better effect for the textures So now this will just take a little bit time to get it all smooth. Feel free to fast forward here because the technique remains. And I'm just going to go through the different parts to even them out. Now here are the sides. I'm not going to pick all lattice vertices, only the ones affecting the actual side here, maybe this won't be needed either, and then just pull these. Mm -hmm. Here we'll just take your time for this one to really. Um, see how it's going to fit. The transparent mode helps to actually grab the vertices and also I'll show you in a minute to check how far from the body you actually are. Okay here we see now here we have to actually bring it a little bit closer. This already looks pretty good. On the crotch we're going to bring a little bit lower to cover this. This looks good too. Now inside we can already start here. But see I have a little fold in here. Now I have to make sure I keep that also in a nice flow otherwise it's not going to look good. So the inner part we will solve a little bit differently. So this looks actually good so far. It's coming on top of the shoe here, that works fine. Okay, so then we can do, we can select, we'll go back to object mode. We will clear the history 
to delete the lattice. And now if you go to a transparent mode, you can already see it's quite it's still quite tight on the body. It's what we want. Here you can see the shape quite nicely. So this will fit well. And now we have to solve the issue between the legs. And this is probably the part that gives most of you quite some headache. It did for me as well. Okay, make sure you save in between to not lose your data. And what we're going to do now, we're going to lock vertices on one leg so we can work on the other side without affecting um, the leg we don't want to touch for now. I'm going to um, hide the body first so we can actually see what we're doing. So this is still detached from the Maitreya size I had before. What we're going to do, we're going to vertex mode and here it's easier for me to select the vertices um, with a UV map. It's just, let me shrink that so you can see actually what I'm doing. If I go to vertices here, I can just select them um, all over here. So what we will do is select, actually we will select by shell. Ah, the reason why I get a selection in here because I still have the symmetrical, um, the symmetry on in the tools. So this needs to come off. Then it's going to be easier to select. Now it selects only the part that I need. So I'm going to select this shell and I'm going to select the back or the front actually according to it. And now I just can go and um, convert the selection to vertices. And these vertices I can lock now, so they won't be affected But whatever I do on the other leg. So we go to the channel editor and then we click CVs to show. And here you see all your vertices that you actually selected now we can just mark them all, just drag down until all are selected. Those are quite a bit. We just hit Control A. With Control A you have them all selected. Now we can right click and we can lock selected. So now I'm just going to show you if I'm going to go to the other leg and we're going to choose soft selection. Let's say we're going to 0.8. It looks like this part is selected too, but it's not going to be affected by this side. And this is going to help us to still get a very smooth selection of the parts that we want to pull out or pull, or, um, pull in. But the other leg won't be distorted. So now I can um, show the body again to see where I have to actually pull out the vertices. And now I'm going to go, I used to keep the soft selection either around 0.05 or 0.08. It depends how much I have to actually pull out. So now we can just go in steps and smoothly pull out what we need to pull out. Now we, it's hard to see what's happening inside, but when you camp inside the body, you can see here that no vertices are inside the leg anymore. It means they're already pushed to the other side. So otherwise it would look like 
this I will, and you would know that this has to go out actually. So we can check this way if there's still anything inside this leg, but it looks good so far. So nothing is going to be touching. And now we're going to go back to our, oh, we need to select the same vertices we had before. So we're going back to our UV editor and I'm going to turn off soft selection. We don't need this here and convert the selection to vertices again. Then I'm back to the channel editor and click on CVs to show. Select them all by control A. Right click, unlock. So now if I'm going to do the same thing again and I'm going to soft select, you will see both sides are affected now. Since we don't want both sides and we're going to focus now on the other, we're going back, turning off soft selection, going back to the UV, selecting the shells we need, converting this to vertices, channel editor and lock them okay so now we can do the other side back to soft selection vertices and now select only the parts that we need I can show you also from inside what I meant before maybe it's easier to understand so see here the vertices are still poking in and we don't want them in here so i can slowly push from here but you still have to check on the outside what you're doing obviously so the shape still stays nicely so whatever is possible from the outside i always would do from the outside to keep a good shape and then you double check inside to see if it actually worked and everything is pulled out the way it's supposed to be. So let's see. Oh, see, there's still a little bit that needs to... Well, this is from the other leg. So this is not allowing us to be pulled because it's from the other this is the overlapping part from the other one, which is okay. This we will, we need that overlapping because otherwise it's not going to fit. Yeah, so this is all one. Okay, but I think oh, something got pulled out a little bit too much here. Okay, but this looks okay, I think. Yeah, this is the overlapping part, so that doesn't matter. Okay, let's check outside. Everything seems closed. Okay, so now the pans are resized for hourglass. We can check in the um, transparent view the x-ray basically it looks good so far so now the pants are ready to rig and I'm going to do that in the next tutorial so you don't have like one huge chunk to watch and you can actually watch the part that you need for yourself
see you in the next one then.